In the last video, guys, I wrongly reported that nothing untowards had happened over the last few nights. Three nights in a row, I had incidents laying in bed where I felt my hair moving. And I was wide awake. And I also felt like somebody brushed my cheek or my face, my forehead, down my shoulder, down my arm. I felt it. It happened. <laughs> we also heard a very loud bang on the window. And that woke us up at 3.18. My wife heard it. She sat bolt upright. Okay. That was a week ago. And then I reported to you guys that nothing had happened since then. I had four good nights sleep. However, my wife says to me last night, and I did try to get her to say it on camera. She wouldn't. She got mad at me. <laughs> she said she went to bed before me. And I came in at... Well, almost midnight and my glasses, the screw was coming out of my glasses. So I went into our walk-in closet over here and I was fiddling around and I guess my wife heard me. So she was awake and she said, as she was laying there, the pillow lifted up. So she says to me, okay, if you know my, if you watch my channel, you know, my wife, my wife is a doctor squared. And I don't mean she's a square. I mean, she actually has two doctoral degrees. She's a PhD biochemist. She's also a medical doctor. So a very smart woman, but she does not believe in any form of paranormal spirits, uh, spirituality. You know, when we die, we die. That's it. End of life. That's, that's my wife's theory. So she, she looks at me with the straightest face and says, I think we have mice. Well, guys, let me tell you, <laughs> we do not have mice in our house. Zero chance that we have mice. I have never found any mice turds. We have never heard anything scuttling around. Um, I have a camp. <laughs> I know when we have mice. We do not have mice. Um, so according to her, the pillow actually, the edge of the pillow actually lifted up off the bed. So I have not had any interaction with whatever is going on here in the last four nights, but she has. So the other thing that we need to remember is that a vase was pushed off the shelf next to the kitchen upstairs. We were all working in the kitchen making dinner. Nobody was within 10 feet of this shelf and this glass flower vase came off the top shelf and smashed all over the floor. So that happened you know, right at the same time in that same original time frame of the first three days. So I think we're gonna, we need to do some kind of spirit box here. We're going to turn the security cameras on. Maybe we'll do a spirit box session and use the recording, the audio from those cameras. And maybe I'll ask some questions here or now. And again, maybe if I can wake up at three in the morning, because my wife's gone, there's no way I could do this with my wife here. She'd kill me. So, hey, I'm here on my own. We can do whatever the hell we want for the next two days, guys. Okay, so we're gonna try a little necrometer. Mark this spot. What is it about this spot? There's a full neck shiver. <laughs> Confusedness. Obviously someone was here and wanted to communicate with me multiple nights in a row. Full back shiver. Who was that? Smell. Smell. Both of us. I don't smell anything.
Can you give me your name? Was it a family member? Denial. Location. Okay, yeah. Am I in the right location? I mean, right there. That's my pillow. Oh, no. It said possessed. Who's possessed? Is the pillow possessed? Because my wife says it was lifting off the bed. Tortured. Tortured. All right. Oh, I didn't even want to ask it full shiver just thinking about it. Lift that pillow off the bed. Uh, that's weird. My Olight is pulsing. Okay, that's weird. That, uh, Olight is pulsating. I don't think I've ever seen it do that. Ever so slightly, it's shifting. Can you do that again? Did you do that? No, oh, it did it again. Can you turn that light off? You push down on the top of it. I've never noticed it doing that before, guys. If you push down on it and turn it off, can you turn it back on? Push down on it, it'll come back on. If that thing comes on, I'm out of here. It's not one that it does take a fair amount of pressure, guys, to. I've never noticed it being an unsteady light like that before. It's fully charged. I've never noticed this thing. Maybe, maybe it does that? I've never noticed it do that. That would have freaked me out in the woods, guys, if that had done that flicker like that. Smell again! I don't smell anything. Check your home. Oh, check your home. It says check your home. All right, we'll try something a little different. I'm gonna move you guys to this side of the room and I'm gonna point you into the mirror and record back into the room through the mirror and just see if we get anything weird. What is this? Psychology. What is the name of the person that was trying to communicate with me? listening give me your message are you a family member this thing is still on it's just not uh, it's not singing I am a 
child. Fantastic. It's not what I asked you. Were you killed? Does this have anything to do with the boy hanging in the tree? Because that tree is probably... Oh, 30 feet <laughs> over there. It says go east. They hear me? Great. Give me an answer. What was it you were trying to tell me? You will stay. You will stay. Well, I hadn't planned on going anywhere. Are you upset that Tom moved? Yeah, we're going to switch to Necrophonic because um, I, I had a suspicion of who this was more so than anybody else. I wondered, I thought about it, and I thought of a couple different people, but the first person that popped into my head, I'm not going to say her name, but she is a family member, an aunt of mine, who we did some sessions on. We found her photo. She's a mystery woman, and according to the spirit box, she's my aunt. It said more than once that she was my aunt. Um, can we say that person's name if uh, that's who it was here the other night? I want you to say the name of the spirit, a name that I would know this person by, that was here the other night. Alright, I'm getting an overheating warning on the camera. I'm going to shut this down. Alright, so I'm getting an overheating warning on the camera, so we're going to end this session right here. But we're going to come back tonight and do some further investigation. And I'm going to run the home security cameras as well, just to see if we can get an answer. Somebody's trying to communicate with me. And as soon as I said that, shiver down the back of my neck. <laughs>